Bears and their coach Matt Nagy. Come out in the in the second half and have you know give up 16 first downs for 222 yards, and then they had that long drive there to start the third quarter, and then for the offense to go three and out um, several times in a row uh, until the end of the, the half there when it's when it's too late. You know, that's just for us where we got to understand that when you play a great team like this, um, they're going to make you pay for it. And, and they did that with two, two quick scores back to back before you know it, you're, you know, you're down eight. Um, so I thought our, you know, again, early on, I thought we were getting pressure on them, on Aaron. Uh, defense, or for our offense, I think I thought we had them off balance. I thought we had some misdirections going on and the guys made plays. Um, but in the end, we got the, we didn't win, we lost. and. Uh, you know, so I, I uh, you know, I just wish wish that uh, we could have came out here with a different result. So I'll go ahead and open up questions. Uh, th that I don't, I mean, I think so. I know that they had something that I think they were looking at his hand or something like that, but nothing has been said to me. I think he'll be all right. I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, the kid, he, uh, he, he's a vet player. He just sat on it. It's an eight to 10 yard out route. He sat on it. Justin made a good throw. I th I'm pretty sure he threw it on time. The kid just the kid made a good play. So he, he jumped it, and uh, um, it's just good defense. Would you consider going for it when you have fourth and one? Thought about it, but then um, thought that, uh, you know, at that point in time, you know, you are a little bit backed up. You could be aggressive there and go for it. I don't think you're wrong if you go for it, but I don't, I don't think you're wrong either. And you saw what happened when we punted it, you know, so. Yeah, that's, I think that's um, for, for all of us and for him to take away. Like, you could really see the guys uh, coming off to the sideline on the pick six. Everyone rallied around them and told them, hey, man, we got you. You know, we got your back. And what did he do? He, he led the team down for a touchdown. That's growth for that kid. Um, he's 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 so mentally tough, and when when you have a, a guy that that in this moment, in this stage, when you throw a pick six, that's not easy. A lot of a lot of guys hang on to that. Not Justin. Justin doesn't. He it actually kind of probably juices him up a little bit, and he gets fired up. I thought the way he played the game today, um, when you have injury with your ribs, as coaches, you're always making sure you don't know how it's going to go. You don't know when he hits and how it's going to you know affect him, but. He was smart when he ran the football, when he scrambled. He got down when he had to. He got out of bounds when he needed to. And I thought that um, for him being off a few weeks to play against that defense, which is pretty good, I thought he did pretty good. You know, when you have, when your defense has been weathered, like yeah. injuries, and you've had issues in the secondary yeah. all season, how much of a chance do you have against Aaron Rodgers and these receivers? Yeah, it's, I mean, I think. For, for all of our guys, that we all understand that it's the next man up mentality. We have, we have had some injuries. Um, and the guys I thought have really, I mean, when you come out here in that first half and you see that you get some pressure, you try to make some plays, you force some punts. But real quick, you know, it, it can change really quickly. And I felt like that third quarter when they just got the ball and just kind of they started running it and they started getting chunks with the run game and then they scored the touchdown. And then we got to bounce back on offense and at least flip the field, worst case scenario. And we did, and we had to strip sack. They got the ball, they come back, and then they hit the touchdown. It's, it's two uppercuts right in the chin, back to back. And before you know it, it's, it's uh, you know, now you're trying to play catch up. And so uh, it's no excuses with the other guys being out of the game. Our guys know that, but they're fighting. You know, our guys are playing hard. I think they showed it tonight, but it just wasn't good enough. Yeah, I have to see it on tape. Uh, it, you're right. I mean, it is. It is. It's never easy coming into this this uh, this league as a rookie at tackle. Um, we needed to make sure that we helped out as much as we could with some chips and slams on the edge. Um, that that's only natural for most most tackles in that situation. So, um, you know, we'll go back and look at the tape. I, I love Tevin. I think he's such a. Uh, I think he's going to have a really really good career. I think his future is very very bright. And you learn from these from these moments, you know. You really do. So uh, he'll be he'll be just fine, and our, he, he's gonna he's gonna rally, and he's gonna do everything he can to get better. Mm -hmm. No, I just you know I, I think uh, it wasn't on purpose. I you know I wouldn't say that. I just say we didn't have many plays uh, in that second half, and then when you get behind, you're obviously throwing the ball. He probably had a little bit more catches there in that situation. When Jakeem caught the punt. Mm -hmm. 
We could have had, a, we could have had the ball at the 20 here, Jakeem. Is that your first thought when he's that deep and he catches it? Not really. Not with what we felt we could do tonight with special teams. I mean, we felt really good about our special teams heading into this game. And um, it, it's an aggressive mentality. I think you got to pick and choose when you do return it because it can get you in trouble. But when you have a guy like him, that can be electric and do things like he can. He just took it 97 yards, um, and then and then it, it seems to be a good decision. But I, you know, I I, I trust. He's done it a long time, and I, I trust in, in Jakeem. I thought he had a great game with that. Is it what? What was the first part? Yeah. Yeah. No. I mean, it, it's it's uh, the three phases was key. I mean, you could feel it all night. Um, whether it was a kick return, whether it was us on kickoff return, whether it was a punt return, our field goals, you know, with Cairo, just across the board, the special teams was just, you, you, you felt like um, they were going to give you great field position, and they did that. So, and then to get a, a, a muff punt fumble recovery as well, that didn't happen, but man, it would have been a, a pretty good night and for, for them, and I thought they played well. Yeah. Fun. Fun. It was. It was fun. That's what. That's that first half. When when you coach and you play and you play that first half the way we did, that's what it's all about. That's why we do what we do. And let's face it. It's been there's been difficult times this year. You know, for everybody, for the players, for the coaches, and because we, you know, you, you know what we can be. And when these guys play like that, uh, that's why we do it. That's why we do it. And our message at halftime was, you know, that's great, but we got to do it for quarters three and four. We got to finish. And um, that's probably the biggest thing that these guys right now, uh, players and coaches, just know that uh, you know not finishing that game against that team is, is where you know we got to be better. Given the, given the pressure and the urgency going into this season, mm -hmm. what's the feeling at four and nine now? Well, I mean, you you, you know that for us when you're four and nine, you know it's it's it stings. You want to be better. Uh, again, I'm always going to just go back to uh, these these guys right now. Um, you know, we're, we're focused at this game. This game meant a lot to us to get out here and, and, and get a win. And um, when you go back and you watch the tape and you just look at, okay, where did it go wrong? I think it's pretty simple. I mean, it's not hard to tell in the second half. So, um, it, you know, we're 4-9 and nine right now, and, and that's who we are. What adjustments did they make? It seemed like they really got the ball in the second half. What adjustments did you see? Yeah, I, I, again, without really knowing specifically and, and seeing a lot of stuff. You know, I'll have to go back and see. Uh, I mean, they're, they're getting them the ball quickly on some, uh, you know, slant routes, but then they hit that, that corner, the corner go down the sideline and open them up. And then they, they uh, you know, they hit them down there on the, on, in, the, in the end zone for the touchdown. But he's, he's a special receiver for a lot of reasons. And he's going to do his thing at times. And um, so I'll have to go back and watch the tape. Yeah. Um, well, I think uh, maybe maybe a little bit, but again, I you know you, you could you could sit there and and uh, and say to go for it, and I don't think you're wrong by saying that at all. I, I but you could also um, punt it and and try to you know play that field position and see where you're at. But I, I just felt like um, you know the whole game when we started getting some guys banged up. Um, you know, at that the one drive that I felt was when when they they went down there and um, they just kept getting first downs, first you know first down, um, and then second and six, and then they get a first down and chew up some clock. They were milking the clock, and you could just kind of feel it being taken away, and um, that's just a part of the game. Mm -hmm. the, 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 for for me, it's you know I, I just want to do everything that I can for this team and for these players. That's all I care about. I want these players to have every opportunity that they can have to win this game. And I pour my heart and soul into this for these guys, and for with these coaches and um, and and just to be able to give them an opportunity to try to come up with a, a good game plan so that we can win this game. And then we we understand the significance of it, um, division game, big rivalry, where we're at as a team, um, and so. And, and, you know, for us not being able to have, you know, more success in, in the time that I have been here against them, you know, that, that part's frustrating because you want to be able to, to be better. But um, the one thing that um, I just really, really, you know, love about these guys is that they come every single day 
and they 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 pour their heart and soul out there. You know, we just some some places we got to be a little bit better, but it sure as, sure as hell ain't because of effort. Yeah. How does that feel? How does that sit with you right now to squander? Well, I just go back to the to that we you see in those first two quarters what we can be, regardless of who's not on that field, you know, for us with the injuries and stuff, and you get to see who you can be. And so I was I was happy for the players that they got a chance to see who they can be, and and then for us to to end the game and with the loss and to not finish it, that's where I know it stings in that locker room. So there's no consolation. Um, we're 4-9. We're um, so that, that's the tough part. Everybody good? All right. Thank you. All right. So tail two halves for the Bears. First half, yeah. All right. Now some of that was special teams. Second half, not so much. Just 100 total yards, three total points. They didn't throw it. They didn't run it. They didn't get many first downs. It was not good. Meanwhile, Green Bay was rolling in the second half. An obliteration after halftime. Green Bay takes down Chicago. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.